talk about cytology. It's a first part of the discipline, uh, histology, cytology, and embryology. Cytology, it's a science which is about structure and, and function of different type of cells. <clears throat> it's about um, structural component of the cell and relations between cells and between component of the cell. Cytology, the name of the cytology is composed by two parts. Cytos, it's from Greek, means uh, cell. <clears throat> and the logos, it's from Latin language, uh, which means uh, science or meaning. So, generally, cytology means uh, science, which is about cell. Uh, all of cells depend on the presence of nuclei can be divided to prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Uh, what is a cell? A cell is a living elementary system that has all of the features of living growth, reproduction, cells healing, which consist of the shell, nucleus, and cytoplasm. Um, but we will talk about eukaryotic cells only because human body is composed by only eukaryotic cells, which contain uh, nuclei and uh, some structures we don't contain nuclei, we will call all cellular structures, or uh, probably they will have other names, we will tell about it later. <coughs> Cells have a different shape, different size, and uh, different extra components. Say some type of cells can be uh, divided to head, neck, tail. Uh, but the main component of cell, look at this picture, main component of the cell, histostructure structure of the cell, there are three main components cytolemma, nucleus, and the cytoplasm. Uh, each component of the cell from the three, the, each component is a compound structure because each component, I mean cytolemma or nucleus or cytoplasm, are composed by other components like they have subdivisions. Uh, they can be divided to subunits. For example, cytolemma, uh, sometimes you can meet as the name of this structure, uh, we can call it cell membrane or um, plasma membrane. <coughs> it's composed by three main components. Uh, um, like layers. It's a bilipid layer proteins, bilipid and protein layer, uh, glycocalyx and submembrane complex. Nucleus is composed by cardiolemma, chromatin, nucleolus, cardioplasm, and cytoplasm is composed by organelles inclusions and hyaloplasm. At the first, let's start from the cytolemma. And this, uh, this picture is of three layers of the cytolemma. A cell membrane, a plasma membrane, uh, we talking about structure of the cell membrane. We have to remember about three layers: upper, middle layer, and inner or uh, innermost layer. And the main structure, main layer, the largest layer is the middle. And um, so let's start from the middle layer. 
uh, which uh, is a elementary biological membrane. Sometimes you can meet uh, the name of this layer of bi bilipid layer, a phospholipid layer, but <clears throat> uh, it's more correctly to call it elementary biological membrane. It's composed by, by a layer of phospholipids. Here you can see by layers apparently it's a uh, inner layer or it's a first layer or it's a second layer. And uh, mm, as a first, as a first, let me explain your structure of the molecular phospholipid. Here you can see all right, round shape structures which are located outside in this layer and the inner structures finger like or like filler uh, yellow color with, uh, directed inside so outer structures are heads of molecular phospholipids inner structures are deals of molecular phospholipids and they have a different structure and they have different physical properties. Outer structures with the heads, uh, they are hydrophilic, so they can be located outside. Inner structures, they are hydrophobic, so they are located inside and they are directed to what to opposite, opposite tails of the second layer. So two layers together. So we call it by layer of the phospholipid. Except phospholipids, this layer contain uh, proteins, molecules. Proteins, molecules, blue color of proteins, molecules. Uh, proteins, molecules have a different location in this by layer. They can be completely embedded into the layer. So if they are completely embedded into the bilayer, they named uh, integral proteins. If they um, partially embedded into the layer, so half of molecule is uh, embedded into the layer, so this uh, protein is named a semi-integral. And the third type of proteins which are located peripherally and molecules of such type proteins are connected only with head of uh, phospholipid. So such type proteins are named peripheral. So integral, semi-integral and the peripheral. Uh, the main components, phospholipids and proteins are main components of the biological, elemental biological membrane. And sometimes in bilayer you can find other components, but they are not main. All of biological membranes composed by phospholipid bilayer and the proteins. <clears throat> um, the, uh, proteins, molecules can change location. They can be uh, integral and next sequence it can become a uh, semi integral or peripheral. They can change location because of the function. Uh, main function of proteins is the transportation of different substances. And uh, the next function is a um, receptor function. They can recognize different substances and help them to enter inside to the cell or leave the cell. Uh, so it's like a um, fusion of two uh, functions, working of two functions to be as a receptor function and transportation. Uh, it's a um, function, it's a structural function because uh, molecules of protein take part in formation of the uh, um, elementary biological membrane. And they maintain shape of the cell. And the uh, um, other functions can um, can inactive, uh, take an active part in formation of special protein canals. Uh, for example, here you can see canals, canal which composed by molecules of proteins and uh, contain inside uh, space for transportation of 
substance, substances, special substances. And uh, uh, how quickly can molecular protein change location? As quickly as possible, very quickly. If it's necessary for the cell, if it's necessary, a uh, molecular protein can very quickly change location. And uh, mm, a lot of years ago, famous scientists Zinger and Lakelson received this uh, ability of proteins to change location. And they call this theory a uh, mosaic fluid and mosaic theory of the zinc of Zinger and Nicholson. Uh, mosaic because the structure of elementary biological membrane looks like mosaic because molecular protein embedded into bilayer phospholipids and the fluid because the movement movement of uh, uh, speed of movement of protein molecules is uh, very high as the movement of fluid. And next layer, it's the upper most layer, the glycocalyx. And the um, basic structure of glycocalyx is carbohydrates, oligosaccharide. Oligosaccharide chain, uh, not done located, um, they are not as isolated from uh, elementary components of the elementary biological membrane. They make connection with proteins and with a uh, head of phospholipids. If carbohydrate chain make connection with phospholipids, we call this substance like glycolipid. If uh, oligosaccharide uh, chain uh, make connection with proteins, we call this substance like glycoprotein. So, generally, talking about structure of the glycocalyx, you can tell that glycocalyx is composed by glycolipids and glycoproteins. It's the uppermost layer taken negative part in formation of the surface of cell membrane and the next function is the, it uh, maintain uh, shape of the cell structural function maintain shape receptor function and the part information of junction between neighboring cells in the most clear it's a submembrane complex on one hand it's the part of the inner layer of the cell membrane on other hand, it's a peripheral part of the cytoplasm. Uh, it's a, it's, uh, we can call this layer like submembrane complex, a peripheral part of the cytoplasm. It's composed by such structures like microtubules and microfilaments. Here you can see microtubules and the microfilaments with a deep lay pocket in the peripheral part of the cytoplasm. Uh, what are functions of the submembrane complex? Submembrane because it's located under the biological membrane, elementary biological membrane. Uh, main function is the transportation, it's a structural function because it takes a connected part information of the uh, cell membrane and it's maintain shape of the cell and uh, mm, uh, take an active part in a process of uh, construction in a, a cell with have ability for construction. And uh, that's all. So let me repeat, let me remind you all of components of the cell membrane it's the Major basic structure. It's elementary biological membranes is composed by phospholipid bilayer together with proteins. Glycocalyx, it is mostly composed by oligosaccharides and substances which they make. And the submembrane complex.